Riyadi TV. I'm here after today's bank holiday win for the Diamonds against St Nates with uh, returning captain and I know that delighted captain, Liam Dorman. Uh, you'd say that, wouldn't you? Yeah, all day long. I mean, it's been tough for myself, but having watched the lads play, that we, we weren't a million miles away apart from the first half on Saturday. And obviously glad to be back playing and help the team to a, to a great win, to be fair, because it's a, it's a tough place to come. Do you know what I mean? Every team's fighting the same as us. It's the start of the season, everyone wants to impress, but we dug in throughout 1 to 11, even the subs when they come on. We're fantastic, defended well and restricted them really to shots outside the box and, and set pieces and we defended them very well. I know you uh, obviously injuries don't help you and you like to play, don't you? Uh, so I know it's how tough it is for you. Yeah, I, of course I love to play being how I am. I have to play, but it's been a frustrating start, but hopefully that's it now and I can kick on and get a good run of the games and help us push up the table. And uh, how did the 90 minutes feel for you? you no problems for you? Yeah, to be honest, I, did, I, felt, I felt okay for it. It surprised me, but I'm sure tomorrow will be a different story at work. But um, yes, yeah, obviously the adrenaline gets you through the first game when you're back and just got to make sure to recover properly, like all the lads have after two games in three days. And we've got, we know we've got a tough game on Friday night, but now we're going to it full of confidence, hopefully we can get another win. And we got the best start. I thought we came out of the blocks really well, didn't we? And got the penalty and uh, tucked away well by Ben. Yeah, I mean, we said we had to start right after Saturday because then it becomes a long day and it's, I think it's a definite penalty, isn't it? It's hard to tell from where I am, but he's stuck it away. And then they, for the rest of the half, they probably got on top of me, it was on the counter-attack, but like I said, we defended well. And then the second half, I thought we were a much better team. We controlled the game so well, hitting them on the break. And like I said, I don't think Ethan really had the save to make second half. No, second half he didn't. In fact, first half I thought we had the best chance when uh, Ben had another header, which he just hit his shoulder and that could have been two-nil. But they did look dangerous and uh, Ben had to be uh, alert in a few, couple of times in that first half. Yeah, I mean, it's great save from the free kick and I can't, I'm not sure what the other one was from where he tipped it round the post, but, fancy, but he's there to make saves. It's like us we, as defenders, we're supposed to be there to block shots and if we don't, then he's there to back it up. But, like I said, 1-11, to 11, then the subs that come on, fantastic performance. And also, again, injuries hitting us with uh, Jack Ashton going off and then uh, obviously uh, Callum as well. It doesn't, it's not helping us, is it? No, it's the theme of the season at the minute, I think, isn't it? But like I said, we've got a good group of players here and Cam's done fantastically well as Blazed when he, he came on for the injured players. But like I said, we'll regroup and go again. Hopefully they're not too bad. And uh, I mentioned for the Oxford graduate, um, A.B. Um, Hopkins, who he played well, didn't he? Superb. I mean, obviously I've, I've only trained with him once, but you could tell he's from a high level. I think today proved that he's got a lot of talent and hopefully he uh, puts in performances like that for us for, for the near future and then hopefully we can keep him. And also, well, I mean, Tom Lorraine worked his socks off. I think he was blowing at the end, he just said. <laughs> yeah, it goes without saying with Shanks, don't it? He, he'll run himself into the ground, but he said uh, he was a presence up there even when he's not. He was putting their defenders under pressure off he played tremendously well, as did Joel. And then the midfield three, they controlled their midfield yeah. brilliantly and it restricted them to long diagonal balls really. So yeah, like I said, all round great Yeah, day. second half I didn't think, I, even I didn't worry and now you know what I'm like for worrying. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, you could say we, we had it under control but they were always a threat. They've got some good players. They don't go to Kings Lynn on mm. Saturday afternoon to get a point for, for not being bad players. So we knew it was going to be a tough test and frankly we've come out of it with the right result. And as I say, not a long recovery. Um, Friday night against Tamworth, that's going to be a tough one. But it'll be a great, it'll be a great occasion, a big crowd as well, hopefully Friday night. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we're training Wednesday so we can recover then and then hopefully it brings a good crowd in. I mean, obviously they're a fancy team in it, but they're coming to our passion. So it's up to us to put our foot down and stamp the authority on that guy. All right, mate. I'll let you go. Well done. Cheers. Thanks very much. And next Thanks. up on the firing line on AFC RD TV, that's right, it's the manager, Andy Peaks. And uh, Peaksy, a good win today for Diamonds on Bank Holiday Monday, 1 0 over St. Neots Town. Good to be back in the win column. Yeah, brilliant. We're desperate for a win today. We've had some good performances, um, certainly in the league, without perhaps getting the results I thought we deserved. Um, and today it was about coming here and grinding out a result, if you like. Um, I think we did that. I thought we defended as a team fantastically at times. Uh, I thought we all looked dangerous as well. Well, that's exactly right. We did definitely uh, grind out this uh, win today. 1-0, uh, the only goal uh, on a penalty kick by Ben Farrell very early in the seventh minute. It was a clear-cut penalty call, though, on St. Neots, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought Shanks done well for it and rolled his man and he brought him down. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a definite penalty for me. Um, and like I say, Faz has tucked it away. Give us a great start, really, just what we wanted. After, probably after the weekend, we were a little bit disappointed. Um, it gave us something to, to really 
get her teeth into and I thought they did that really well. Truthfully, Diamonds were a little flat against Deeping in the FA Cup on Saturday and you look much brighter for the entire match today. Yeah, that's what we said. Saturday's gone. You know, we're still in the hat. That was a positive for me for Saturday. I was disappointed at times Saturday. I made that clear to them and I expect a reaction today and I, I think I got it because I thought the whole group, everyone who came on, um, was totally lit together. I thought they defended, backed each other up and stuck in together and dug out a great three points away from home. Uh, darn it, the injury bug sort of hits Diamonds yeah. again. Uh, two players had to come out of the match with uh, slight injuries, uh, Westwood and Ashton. How are they yeah. doing? No, they're both a bit sore, hence we had to change it. So we're testing the squad to the limit and we don't make it easy. We either go for two strikers or two defenders in a game rather than make it too easy for me. But no, the boys who come on and played their part, uh, said it's about having a big squad. Um, it's frustrating because some of the people I've wanted to get on the pitch the last few games I haven't been able to, but they've got to wait their turn. Uh, they understand the situation and Sometimes your hands are tied to the changes you can make. Um, so yeah, in it together, as we say. And I trust uh, you're still happy with the shape of the uh, the club. A four-three-three formation has worked yeah, well I've, for I've the team. I've looked at other situations, mm -hmm. other formations. Sorry, but you know I keep saying we're playing well. So why would I change it if, we, if I'm not mm -hmm. happy with performance? I've been happy with performance, certainly the league games. Um, We've got the players to change the formation. Um, we could do that at any point during a game or before a game. But at the moment, I'm happy. Um, I thought I'm resolute today. I thought, for me, formations this day and age change all the time. It's about sure. people taking responsibility and doing the jobs they're into the team. If they do that, you win games of football. Do you like playing two games in three days? I do when you win the second one, yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah, quick turnaround. It is what it is. And uh, next up, we have a rare Friday night match uh, back in the friendly confines of Hayden Road. Uh, Good to be back in our comfort zone, hopefully, on the, at the home pitch. Yeah, back to being at home, which is obviously going to be nice. Um, hopefully we'll get a few down there on a Friday night. And again, we expect another tough game. Tam, what a massive club that is. As I keep saying to people, we've come a long way in a short space of time. For us to be playing at stadiums like this and playing Tam at home on a Friday night, I think proves the club's heading in the right direction. All right, well, thanks for your time, Andy. Good win. I don't need love.